This is the second session of the Magic Mathematics. In this session, we'll discuss the problems of quality equations, which can be solved by an unusual way, so that we can save time and concentrate on the other problems which are not solved by the usual. Method. So this is the second session. We'll discuss about the quality problems. We'll discuss about the problems. You can pause the video and note down the questions. First, we'll discuss about the quality equation ax square plus bx plus c has a real roots alpha beta. If a b c a real of same sign, then asking for the sign of alpha and beta. It's a very normal question. Sometimes the question is a b g are the roots of the equation this. Find the value of a plus b plus c. It can be a question like if the both the roots of equation x square minus 2 mx plus m square minus 1 equal to 0 lies between minus 2 and 4. Then the value of m. So obviously it can be solved in, uh, by the usual methods but it's a long and it took more time. We'll discuss the problem alpha plus beta are the roots of the equation x square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Then alpha upon alpha plus beta alpha beta plus b plus beta upon a alpha plus b equal to 1. So this is again a problem which can be solved by the usual way but here we discussed some unusual ways unusual ways so that it can be it can save a tiny examination. This is the IDJ problems. If one of the root of x square plus bx plus q equal to 0 is square on another root then which of the option, following option is true. So these are the few problems we will discuss. Let's start with the first one. The quality equation x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 has real roots alpha and beta if a, b, c are real and of the same sign. If a, b, c are the real and of the same sign. Now, a square plus bx roots has roots alpha and beta. It's given that a, b, c are the real and of the same sign. It's asking the sign of the alpha beta, whether the alpha beta positive, negative, and a opposite sign. Now, first thing which strikes uh, alpha, c are the real. Let's start try to make an equation in which a, b, c are the real and of the same sign. Can I imagine this equation x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0? Because here a is 1, b is 2 and c is 1. All three are the positive and the real. And you know, we know the root of this equation is x, my, x plus 1 whole square equal to 0 and x equal to minus 1. Another root is also minus 1. Repeated roots are there. So the, both the roots are here, minus 1 and minus 1, which are, says that the roots are negative. Both the roots are negative. Therefore, I can say the alpha, beta are both negative. So sometimes striking this kind of things, uh, striking this way, we can solve the problems in a better way, in a less time. Next, if a, b, g are the roots of the equation x minus 2, x square plus 6x minus 11 equal to 0, therefore a plus b plus c equals 2. Now a, b, g are the roots of this equation. I don't know. No, uh, the one way, unusual way is you will multiply this equation, equation and you make a, you know, cube equation, then you will uh, select the coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x will say that this is a plus b plus c. Okay, no need to that to that. Say this is the root, here is 2, here the sum of the two root is, here the sum of the two root is minus 6, therefore 2 minus 6 is minus 4, therefore the answer is minus 4. That's it. No need to multiply the two equations. Obviously the one root is 2, it's clearly shown. I don't know whether that is a or b or g, but it shows that one root of a, b and g is 2 and remaining roots of a, b, g has a sum minus 6. The first total sum is minus 4. That's it. The both roots the equation x square minus 2 mx plus m square minus 1 equal to 0 lies between minus 2 and 4. Then the value m varies from what? Says that the both roots of this equation varies from minus 2 and 4. Uh, let's if I put the m equal to 0. I left with the equation x square. This is 0. Come This will become 0. I left with x square minus 1 equal to 0. And x is equals to plus 1 and minus 1. I got the two roots here. One is the 1 plus 1 and another is minus 1 for m equal to 0. It says that both the roots equation lie between minus 2 and 4. Yes, minus 1 and plus 1. Both lies between the minus 2 and 4. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Yes, both the roots minus 1 and plus 1 lies between minus 2 and 4. So, m equal to 0 is one of the solution for that. Now it's asking the m belongs to what? Asking m belongs to what? Let's check the options. Here is there is no zero in it because zero has to be there. Here is zero is not there because it's a closed open bracket. Then one comma four there is no zero. It's this in this option and the only option is there in which the values varies from minus one to three and zero is there. Therefore the answer is a. That's it. So sometimes you know. Sometimes practicing an unusual ways saves your time. So this is the way you can save your time. If alpha beta are the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, then the value of alpha upon alpha beta plus beta, sorry, plus b, plus beta upon a alpha plus b equal to what? It says the alpha beta are the root of the equation ax square plus bx plus c. 
Now, I don't know. Now, it's, now again, you can assume the value of alpha and beta. Let's say alpha is 1 and beta is 2. I can assume anything. Now, if alpha is 1 and beta is equal to 2, then this equation will become x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Right? It means a is 1, b is minus 3, and c is 2. I got the value of a, b, c here. Now, I know the value of alpha beta. Let's start. Let's put this value over here. Alpha upon alpha beta plus 1. Alpha is 1, alpha is 1, beta is 2, plus b. b is minus 3. Now, plus beta is 2, a is 1, alpha is 1, plus b. That is minus 3. Now, 1 upon 1 into 2 minus 3 is minus 1, plus 2 upon 1 into 1 minus 1 minus 3. That is 1 minus 3 is minus 2, minus 2 is 1. That is minus 1. This gives the value of minus 2. Right now, I got this value of this is minus 2. Right now, let's check in the option 0 is cannot be the answer. 2 upon b is what 2 upon minus 3. 2 upon b is 2 upon minus 3. Therefore, this is not solution. 1 is not solution. 2 upon minus, minus 2 upon a is minus 2 upon 1. That is minus 2. Yes, this is the solution. In a few simple steps, you know, in a few seconds, we are able to solve this kind of problem. Next. This is the J problem. So see here how easily we solve it. X square plus Px plus Q is square of another root. If one root is square of another root means let's say one root B alpha is 1. Therefore beta is a square of another root that is 1 square is 1. So alpha beta here is 1. As simple as that. If the both roots are 1 therefore the equation is x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Right. Therefore I can say therefore I can say here is alpha is 1 beta is 1 and x square plus px plus q is 0 therefore I can say p is minus 2 and q is 1 by comparing from this. Now p is minus 2 and q is 1. Now let me put the value here. p is minus 2 it means minus 8 plus q that is 1. 3p is minus 6 plus 1. q square is yes it's clear it's minus 8 minus 7 7 minus 8 minus 7 plus 1 q is 1 now p is minus 2 and q is 1 if i put the value p minus 2 and q equal to 1 in this options now we'll get the only option a is correct that's it thank you have a nice day in the next lecture of magic mathematics we'll discuss we have discussed so far we have discussed about the progression and quality equation in the next lecture we'll discuss about short tricks for the trigonometry thank you